Here's a super gross story that actually is overwhelmingly positive. Various outlets are reporting today that human waste can now be harnessed for clean energy. I know that's ironic. Quote, feces produces a lot of methane gas, a greenhouse gas, and the more dangerous nitrous oxide. Scientists have been trying to figure out how to trap that gas and turn it into fuel, and it seems that a UK firm might have done it. They continue, scientists at Severn Trent Water, SVT, a power company, have taken to the sewers and found a way to take the sludge, clean and compress it, break it down into carbon dioxide, and then to biomethane, which is natural gas. The company started adding their gas to the national grid last week. According to SVT's Renewable Energy Development Manager, Simon Farris, carbon emissions could be cut by 300,000 tons over the next 20 years. There's another article that explains how going down this road is the equivalent of taking about 63,000 cars off the road. So this is a thing. Like, this is real. You know, the more I read about green technology, renewable energy, the more I think like, oh, on this one, the conspiracy theorist might be exactly right. That a long time ago, we actually figured out how we could have 100% renewable energy, but the fossil fuel companies, the oil companies just totally crushed it and acted like, oh, what? No, there's nothing other than fossil fuels. Just buy more gas, please. Buy more oil. Do it, do it, do it. I'm, I'm telling you, on this issue, I'm starting to become much more conspiratorial because when you look at the plethora of options we have, I mean, for fuck's sake, there's uh, solar energy, there's wind energy, there's thorium, which is my favorite. That's uh, basically a form of nuclear energy, but it's meltdown proof. Well, that would be the perfect type of energy. Why are we not ha putting that everywhere else and doing more research on it and just creating thorium plants everywhere? Like, it's amazing. When The more you read about it, the more you go, oh, right, I get it. So we could totally have fixed everything, but we just didn't. No, I see. And uh, my guess is that it has to do with the fact that the oil companies, certainly in the United States of America, but around the world too, they've just bought all the different governments so the governments don't invest and go down the road of let's do renewable energy. But guess what, man? We're getting to the point where it's do or die. It's now or never. We've hit the tipping point. Climate change has gotten so bad. The situation is so dire that... We need to do renewable energy. It's not, we can't drag our feet anymore. So the oil companies need to stop with their stranglehold on all these world governments and all this corruption. And here's, look, it's another great example of how many options there really are out there to create, ironically, clean energy through human feces.